Welcome to Open Box Education. In this video, I am going to explain about Walsh Transform. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share to your friends. So this is the photograph of Walsh. So his full name is Joseph Leonard Joe Walsh. So he born in September 21st, 1895 and he passed away in the year of 1973, December 6th. So he introduced that Walsh Transform. So Fourier analysis is basically the representation of a signal by a set of orthogonal sinusoidal waveforms. So the coefficients of this representation are called frequency components and the waveforms are ordered by the frequency. So Walsh in 1923 introduced a, a complete set of orthogonal square wave functions to represent these functions. So here in the place of uh, uh, sinusoidal waveforms here they introduced that a square wave functions. So the computational simplicity of this Walsh transform is that they take only two values which are either plus one or minus one. So this is the one of the advantage of this Walsh transform. So the 1D Walsh transform is represented as g of nk equal to 1 by n pi i equal to 0 to m minus 1 minus 1 to the power of bi of minus 1 into b m minus 1 minus i of k. So where n represents that time index and k represents that frequency index, n represents that order and here m represents that number of bits represent a number and b i of n represents that ith bit of binary value that is we have to consider from the LSB side of n decimal number represented in binary and last one we have that m is nothing but number of bits representing the number so the value is given as m equal to log 2 n. So based on that one we have to represent that b i of n. So here this is the 2D Walsh transform which is given by this equation f of k comma l equal to 1 by n summation of this equation. So this is the uh, 2D Walsh transform. So now we will go for a, a simple a problem to understand this Walsh transform. So the question is find the 1D Walsh basis for the fourth order system that is n equal to 4. So here the value of n is given as 4. So from the value of n, the value of m is calculated as, so here we have n equal to 4. So already we know that the formulation m equal to log 2 n. So here n equal to 4, when you are simplifying this equation, then you will get that m equal to 2. So also n and k vary from 0 to n minus 1. So already we know that n and k values are varied from 0 to n minus 1. So in this example, here we got n equal to 4. So this n and k values will be varied from 0, 1, 2 and 3 because here n is 4. So 0 to 4 minus 1 that is nothing but 3. So 0 to 3 nothing but 0, 1, 2 and 3. So and i varies from 0 to m minus 1. But here from the above computation already we got that m equal to 2. So substitute in this place. So 0 to 1 that is nothing but the i value will be varied from 0 and 1. So the construction of the Walsh basis for n equal to 4 is given in this table. So here it is the construction of Walsh basis for n equal to 4 which is given in this table. So here already we know that the n value varied from 0 to 3. So 0, 1, 2 and 3. So here when n equal to 0 then we can represent this in the binary values 0, 0 and when n equal to 1 this can be represented as 0, 1 and for 2 it can be represented as 1, 0 and for 3 it is represented as 1, 1. So these are the binary values representing this decimal value from 0 to 3. So now the Walsh functions may be ordered by the number of 0 crossings that is nothing but we can call it as a, a sequence and the coefficients of the representation may be called sequence components or zero crossing or crossing components. So the sequence of Walsh basis function for n equal to 4 is shared in the table. So here uh, the k value is given as 0, 2, 3 and n value is given from 0, 1, 2, 3. So here if you calculate the sequence by using that uh, formula 1D Walsh transform formula we got these values for k and n values as like this. So if you see this one here there is no sign change. So simply you can call it as a DC value and here we have for k equal to 1 and for n equal to 2 here there is a, a change of value from 1 by 4 to minus 1 by 4. So here there is a change from 1 by 4 to minus 1 by 4. So only one sign is change. And when you're going for this k equal to 2 and, and n equal to 1 there is a sign change like this. 
so here we have one sign change is there this is the one and here again minus 1 to plus there is a another sign change and here again uh, plus 1 by 4 to minus 1 by 4 so here there is a sign change from 1 and here 2 and here 3 so there is a 3 sign changes will be there and here if you see this one there is a sign change from this point to this point here and again the sign change from this point to this point so there will be a 2 sign changes are there by giving this sequence so now we will see the calculation of this sequence by considering that 1D Walsh transform so here they are taking that g of 2 comma 1 so when you are going for the g of 2 comma 1 in the formula so here n equal to 2 and k equal to 1 so that is nothing but g of 2 comma 1 so simply substitute those values so that you will get that g of 2 comma 1 equal to minus 1 by 4 so just you simply substitute these values so here b naught of 2 and uh, b1 of 1 so here b naught of 2 so from this table b naught of 2 equal to 0 and uh, b1 uh, here we have so b1 of 1 so if you see this one b1 of 1 is also 0 so here you will get that uh, 0 into 0 and here b1 of 2 is also 1 and b naught of 1 is 1 so here minus 1 to the power of 0 is nothing but 1 into minus 1 to the power of 1 so you will get that minus 1 so by simplifying this one you will get that g of 2 comma 1 equal to minus 1 by 4 so like this all the values of the Walsh transform can be calculated after the calculation of all the values the basis for n equal to 4 is given as like this that is g of nk equal to we will get this matrix so this is about that Walsh transform so thank you very much for watching this video. To watch more videos, please subscribe to my channel, Open Box Education.